a weird broken dog and I want to fix them. How long have you been with Fort Worth I started fostering in April of 2020 when the shelter started closing down for COVID. My first actual foray into the fostering world with Fort Worth Abandoned was April 2020. And my brother kind of asked me right around that time because he knew there'd be a big need of people taking in dogs, fostering dogs, mm -hmm. um, when COVID hit. And I wasn't sure because I'd only had Ruthie two months and I was like, this is my first pet, my first dog. And then of course, I just, there was this list of dogs that were going to be euthanized. I told my brother, like, go get her. I don't care. It was definitely an interesting time, but I'm glad it, I'm glad I did. My brother fostering is, is what got me into it. I used to have really severe dog anxiety and a fear of dogs. It's big, small, hyper, calm. It just filled me with anxiety. Brother fostering helped me see the dogs, how loving they could be. It helped kind of calm my nerves and anxiety and then that's what made me decide to adopt my first dog. Kind of what pushed my hand to help me make the decision to start fostering. Do you have a favorite rescue story that you've been part of? There's maybe a couple. So one of my second foster, so emaciated that I could count every bone in her body. And I'm just like, who does this to a puppy? Like, I took her in, and gave her some groceries, right? Um, <laughs> and some love, and kind of got to see her, A, get healthy, and then also getting to see her just like figure out how to be a puppy. And like my two girls that I had then, Ruthie and Lulu, kind of helped her figure out how to be a be a fun puppy. I look back at pictures of how skinny she was and I'm just like I don't know how much longer she would have had if, if we wouldn't have taken her in because she was so so skinny. That's one of my favorites and then I've, I've helped with a couple of um, different hoarding cases so I drove to Hamlin once to pick up some dogs. I was just acting as transport for, for these dogs but I had the day off and I wanted to help. A total of 31 dogs, but he could only catch 23. And I took six with me <laughs> in my tiny hatchback Hyundai lunch. <laughs> I had the front passenger seat laid back with a big crate, <laughs> like in the passenger seat, and then a big crate in the back seat. And I will tell you what, those dogs smelled <laughs> so bad that I think to this day my car has never quite smelled the same. And I had the windows fully down oh my God. with well, half the time my head just like hanging out the window. It was definitely not the most fun that I've had helping Fort Worth Abandoned or animals in general, but I'm glad I got to help them. What do you feel like are your talents in rescue and out of rescue? I'm like a very creative person. I love doing, I love making crafty or creative things, doing any kind of art. That's what makes me happy. That's what I could do for hours and lose track of time. I always love helping people. It wasn't until 2020 that I realized I also like helping dogs. The cool part is that I get to do both. Use my like crafty art side to do fun projects that we can then turn around and sell and the profit just goes right back to the animals. If you had asked me when I was five years old what I wanted to do when I was in my 30s, it wouldn't have been like, make arts and crafts that I can sell to help animals. I think you found your passion. Definitely <laughs> one of them or two of them. You know, there's still new passions to be discovered and maybe I'll discover them in doing foster work um, or working with Fort Worth Abandoned. But I definitely know a couple of them and get to put them to use and that's always really fulfilling. I, I could find more passions, who knows? What is your inkling of your life purpose? Inkling of my life purpose? You know what, there's a Robin Williams quote that I love. You know, I don't really know what my life purpose is, but if I, in even some small way, was able to make someone else's life a little bit better, better then like, that's, that's what I want with my life. Like, that's what I want to have to say about my life. You know, I feel like for a long time, even when I was a kid, I was always that kid that like asked the teacher if they needed help with anything or asked the little lady, old lady next door if she needed <laughs> help with like her groceries or whatever. I just always wanted to help people or, um, you know, now animals. And so, yeah, I think it's just trying to make life better in general for those around me, for myself, in, in whatever little way I can.